Good morning, Internet! Welcome back to another episode of Valley Night Without Steve. <laughs> He's coming back tomorrow, so we're gonna go pick him up at the airport. Um, I need to paint this wall today. I think I'm just gonna get one done. I also wanna sand that wall today. So I have two things I need to do. In here, once that's done, well, actually, once I sand that wall, I'll probably go take a shower. I'm gonna do this stuff to my hair to try and repair it, because I color it. Um, I just make it more red. You can kind of see like the natural color down at the bottom. Either way, um, I've got this stuff called Olaplex that I was researching. I know very little about it. I know enough to know that it's supposed to like actually repair your hair instead of just like filling in the holes. So I'm gonna try it. <laughs> that was, <coughs> excuse me. That was a $28 bottle I bought the other day. What else do I need to do? Um, I'm gonna film a new video, I think. Something that I might release this weekend. I haven't decided. We'll see how that goes. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, all, all that has worked out. And, uh, ate breakfast, pretty much. <laughs> Those are like the two major things I did. Oh, I uploaded a video. That is a thing. But I didn't wash this wall last night. I was supposed to wash it. I know I talked about it. I didn't do it. Oops. I'm gonna do that. And uh, I guess we'll just get started. You guys don't wanna watch me wash a wall. We'll, we'll come hang out when I paint, but I'll show you the sanding. Cause I don't have a lot to do. Like I went ahead and I cleaned a lot of this up, but I really shouldn't have a ton to do. You can see there's a little bit of some raised stuff in here. So it shouldn't be terrible, but we'll see how it comes out. It should be okay. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out real fast. I gotta change though. I'm not gonna wear this to sand. Like seriously, I'm in my, my workout gear. I'm getting there, it's a process. Um, I'm still not as good as I would like to be, but I don't know, it's just gonna take time. I painted without you. I had a lot of stuff to think about and go over and, and listen to and stuff, so I, uh, I painted without you. Yeah, that's right, I mean, I am finished. Like, I, I, we have to move the dresser for me to get to that corner. And this has another chunk of, like, spackle that had to go on the top, so that's being done. But, I, uh, I painted without you. And it's almost done. But those are my three colors. Sailing wall and other wall. Ta-da! It looks pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda like it. Um, parts that I have found, I, I mean, I still have to do all my edges. Like, obviously not the ones around the, the top because the trim will go over that, but I got really close so that the trim will cover all of that. Um, I have to do my corners. These all need to be taped on one side and then painted down the other and then touched up on the other side. It's a, a, a bit of a process, but we do that after we've done all of our coats. So these are all one coat walls except for the stuff that's in here. And I really don't know how I screwed up this. I screwed this up hard and I don't know how or any of that. I have to fix that. But it's, uh, I don't know how I did it, I don't. Um, so anyway, I painted. I still have all the flex on my hair. It's been a couple of hours. I need to go take it out. My hair is like crunchy now, which I guess is a good thing. So I'm gonna go wash that out. But I have put on a coat on all of the walls, except the, the ceiling was too. And that's all done. I'm not gonna stress about it, seriously. Like, I am at the present moment and things look good. Um, I have gone through some commentary though because you guys were talking about the floor and we haven't done anything with it. And a lot of you were like, don't fill it, it's gonna be a bad scene. And so I did a little bit of research because some of you mentioned humidity and I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Floors have this humidity problem. Um, because it hasn't been so humid, the floor will probably expand a little bit this summer. So there's no point in filling the giant cracks. I am, however, going to fill the holes. And what I'm gonna do with that is an epoxy mix with a little bit of like a black dye, which I've ordered, called Mix-All. So I'm gonna do that for the holes. But as far as like the, the seams and cracks and stuff, I'm just gonna hope that the urethane seals it up as much as it can and call it a day. I'm not happy about it, but I'd like my floor to be able to breathe and not like pop up on me, because that's, that's an actual concern, so. But uh, we are going to refinish it. I am keeping this floor and we are going to stain it and we are going to seal it. Those are all things that will happen. Um, the other thing I noticed is some of you were like, what's going on with the trim in this corner? Well, that was where the closet was. And we just haven't put the new trim on because there's no point in putting on more trim when we're gonna refinish the floor. 
you just risk damaging all of your trim. Same thing with this wall. We're gonna put trim across the bottom. In fact, the other thing that we're gonna do that some of you are gonna be really pissed about and I don't care, is we're gonna cut a chunk of this trim out because this is the wall that the dresser is gonna go up against and that's where it's going to stay forever and ever. So, we don't have a closet anymore. There's no closet in this room. It is now technically not a bedroom because there's no closet. Um, but we have a giant Ikea dresser wardrobe thing that's gonna go over there. And so I'm cutting the trim out so that it'll be up against the wall and it's gonna look stellar. And I'm excited about it and it's my bedroom and I don't care. <laughs> I'm really excited. The paint colors have come out really good. It's not a like shitty yellow room anymore. It's blue for the most part, except that corner. So you can still see what terrible color it was in here for a little bit. Um, next steps. I really need to do the trim around the windows. That's on my list. Um, that's like a, an end game thing, like last thing to do. I'm not really that terribly worried about it. I should try and get most of it done before we refinish the floor. Cause you don't want to do any paint stuff in here when the floor isn't done. Like that's why there's no like cover on the floor is cause we're just gonna sand the snot out of it anyway. And there's no point in spending extra money on plastic. So the same reason why I haven't bought any protective gear for me is because I can just go take a shower and it all comes off. It's latex. Um, the only time that's going to be different is when we do stain, is because the stain is oil based. So I'm going to wear like really nasty stuff that I don't mind getting dirty and probably wear some really heavy gloves. Um, yeah, I don't want to get all stained. <laughs> my fingers. I did stain my hand the other day and I mean for the most part it's not bad, right? Like that's okay. It's all right to get dirty. I'm not that afraid of it. Seriously. You just go take a shower. Oh no. The horror. Hi, your timing is very good. How are you? What are you doing? You coming up to say hi? I need to paint. Which is why I turned the camera on because I don't want to change because I'm like comfortable, but I have to put a different pair of clothes on. Hi, Spike. In order to uh to actually like go in there and paint because I don't want to ruin these clothes. I don't want to change. Oh, first world problems. I guess I should probably go do that. I need to throw on another coat on both of them. I think I'm gonna try and do that. I don't want to sand for fear that I'm gonna get like all of the sanding garbage in my paint, if that makes any sense. So, I just bought a jeweler bench though. That's a good thing. I'm like super inspired to actually like use my degree to do something. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna do stuff, and it's gonna be awesome. I just, I feel like more of that stuff is gonna be on Twitch and less of it on YouTube, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Sorry, I painted again without you. So now we have two coats. I still have not fixed my edges, but it, uh, it's coming. It's coming along really, really good, I think. I think, next is the floor. That's gonna be a whole other nightmare. I think Steve is gonna do it this weekend. I don't know. I don't. Uh, so I'm, I think I'm done. I still have sanding I need to do over there. Whatever. It's on my list. I have to get Steve tomorrow. I need to charge his battery, which is a bad sign. So let's, let's make this quick. Um, you know where to get in touch with us at Gluttonous on Twitter. You can hang out with us on Discord. I have fixed that link, so it's permanent. I hope, I hope um, you can leave commentary because commentary is where it's at. Uh, my hair actually came out really nice with the with the stuff and the thing. I really liked that stuff I put in it. It looks, it's not bad, but it feels better. It feels way better. So I'm kind of excited. It's still wet. All right, I gotta get out of here. I gotta put this together and then eat something, I guess. Maybe. I'll think about it. <coughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for kind of hanging out with me today. I know I didn't do much but talk to you and walk around with the camera. But not every day can be a perfect day. But at least we're going to try and put something out every day. Even if it's it's okay. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Thanks for uh, hanging out while I paint. Even though I painted without you. <laughs> Sorry. Well, uh, I'm going to go get Steve tomorrow. So tomorrow will be different. So, we'll see you then. Okay, thanks. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.